Hello everyone. This is my first video tutorial on .NET Visual Studio 2010. Today I am going to show you how to create a setup project of an application from Visual Studio 2010 and also how to add file extensions to your own application. So first of all I will fire up the Visual Studio 2010. Next, I'll open my Windows Forms application which I have created earlier. It takes some time for Visual Studio to prepare the solution of my application. So this is my application which I had already created. This is a simple text editor made in c .net. So now first of all what I have to do is build this application of mine. So first I will select release from this. As I have to distribute this application so I will select release. Now I will go to build and build windows form application 1. you can see the build succeeded so my next step will be to create a new setup project go to new project and in other project types setup and deployment and go to visual studio installer here you can see there are five types of installers you can create the first is a simple setup project which allows you to create .exe or .msi files second one is a web setup project which allows you to create a uh, setup for a web application the third one is the merge module project it is used to create .exe file of application whose modules are linked afterwards the setup wizard is similar to setup project but it just uh, makes it easy for the user to create a setup a cap project allows you to create .cap files of your application. So for this demonstration, I'll select Setup Wizard. Over here, I'll give the name to my setup. Here, I can set the location where I want the setup to be. And I'll click OK. So this is the Setup Project Wizard. Here are four options where you can which you can select from create a setup for Windows application, for a web application, or a merge module project, or a downloadable CAD file. For this project, I want to create a setup for Windows application, so I'll check this radio button and click on Next. Now I have to include the files that I am going to include in my setup. Going on Add Documents. Visual Studio 2010 project my application bin and I'll select all the files from release folder remember to select the files from the release folder only always Next. finish so this is what my setup project is now as you can see over here these are the property pages of the setup project. The second one is the file system editor which is open right, uh, right here, file system on target machine. This is how and where the files which are in the setup will be installed on the user's machine. The next is the registry, registry on target machine. Here you can sell, uh, add keys to the add keys of your application that will be added to the user's registry. The next is file types editor. In file types editor, you can add file types extensions which will be opened from your application. The next is the user interface installer. 
the user interface allows this is the user interface of the installer that the user will see so for this demonstration i'll first go to file system in the application folder you can see these are all the files which i had added just now into my setup project so now this is the user's desktop so you want to create a shortcut of your application on the user's desktop so I, i'll first go to application folder and this is my application's exe file i right click on right click on it and select create shortcut a shortcut will be created and i can rename it from here and then i'll drag this to user's desktop also i want that there should be a shortcut to my application in the user's program menu so i'll first right click and add a folder named by my application and again go on application folder right click on the application file create a shortcut to it and now i'll drag this shortcut to this folder again so the file system editing is complete oh uh, just second one thing more you have to remember on application folder right click and select properties window and from here you can select the default location where the setup files will be installed i'll change it to product program files folder and then my product name the file system has been done now coming on registry editing i don't want to add any registry keys to the user's registry so i'll not ch change anything over here but you can right click and add new key to any registry you want next file types as i am creating a uh, setup for uh, a text editor of that is my application so i want that it should open all the text files present on the system in it so i'll right click over here and add file type and name it text you can name it anything you like but i'll prefer to name it text as i am opening text files uh, now right click on this and go to properties window and in the command select this button and select application folder and the application which should be opened by selecting this file so i want that my application should be open narrow text editor.exe the description of the application can be given given here that's it and in the extensions i want that it should open txt files so i'll add dot txt over here i can also select an icon which all the text files will have when they open from my application so i first have to add an icon file to my application folder so i'll add file from here download and this is my icon file i'll select this icon file and click on okay this is also done ampersand open this is the first action that will take place when any user right clicks on a text file on his system i want him to open it so its name is ampersand open the user interface of the installer i leave it as it is no changes to be made here now i have to build my setup so i'll go over here build and click on build narrow you can see narrow.msi is being created i'm getting three warnings but i'll go further with these warnings because i don't i want these files in my project build succeeded now again i'll go on build and select configuration manager and from configuration manager i'll select release from the drop down now again i'll go on build and select batch build from here i'll select all and click on build so now my setup files are being created first the setup is being created into the release folder
and now into the debug folder. Build succeeded successfully, two files were created. So now my setup of my application has been created. Now I'll go on my desktop. This is my desktop where I have my setup narrow and in release. These are the setup files of my application. I'll right click it and copy it and paste it on my desktop. Always remember to distribute the setup files from the release folder only. I'll run my setup from here. This is the setup wizard to my application. Next, see the location, default location. Program files, the product name as I had set in my application folder properties. Next, and this will start the installation of my application. Mm, due to user account control enabled in Windows 7 and Vista, it takes some time to be installed. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. My s application has been installed successfully. Close. So here as you can see there is a shortcut of my application on the desktop and in my programs, start menu programs. I also have a folder named and there is also a shortcut to my application. And you can see the icon of the text files. It's changed to the icon which I had selected. And when I open this text file, it will open in my editor, narrow text editor. You can see it works perfectly fine. So the tutorial is complete for today. This tutorial showed how to create a setup project from Visual Studio 2010 and also how to add file types to your application.